Today I'm going to show you how to build a holster style camera strap that can hold two cameras. First, let's go over what all you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need a drill. You're going to need a pair of straight cutters, a standard screwdriver, some super glue, a tape measure, a clip, three belts. The longer, the better. You're going to need six quarter inch binder bolts, two clips, and then two of these threaded uh, chain links, two machine eye bolts, the shorter the better, the, the shortest ones that I could find were only two and a half, but if you can find shorter that would be better, two wing nuts, and then two rubber grommets or washers. So you start with throwing your belts over your shoulders and then the belt buckle from the opposite belt will hook to the end of the other belt. So they will actually make a cross in the back. But whenever you, if you were to unravel this completely, it would create a perfect loop with one twist in it. So that's the way that you can check yourself. So one way to easily get this correct on your back is to have somebody help you with the clip and they will clip it where the belts cross. So now that we have it clipped where the belts cross, you can go ahead and drill two holes where, where they cross so that you can put two binder bolts in it. So let's, I've already got these two holes drilled. So let's go ahead and put a couple of bolts in them. When you're tightening these down, be very careful not to strip out the screw head because they are made out of aluminum. So now we have the shoulder strap part of our holster made. Let's move on to creating the two straps that you actually clip the cameras into. So here are the straps that we are going to be making. I've already cut these out a little bit just to help show you a little bit better. So these straps are going to be seven inches long. And then you're going to create two cuts here and here at an inch and a quarter. These are where your clips will slide onto. And then when you fold them over, it will look something like this. So let's go ahead and slide these clips on there. One. There's one. 
there's two. So when you're done, they should look something like this before you put your binder bolts in. There we go. We have our clip ends now completed. So now we can move on to the sliding loop end. For this part, you're going to need your two threaded chain link connectors for this. So now let's go ahead and take our harness and put on our clips below the buckles. Tighten them up. So now it is time to thread on your slips and kind of get an idea for how long you want to make your little straps. You want to leave enough room to where you can drill a hole, but also have it be secure. So we're going to go right about there. These are about an inch from touching. So now you can use your strap that you just drilled as a template for your other one. straps back into the picture and assemble them. Now you want to make sure that you put your strap facing the correct way. So match up the raw sides of the leather and then the tooled side of the leather. And then just loop them around the chain and then bind with a binder screw.
and do the exact same thing for the other side. Alright, so now you have your two straps that slide freely on the shoulder holster. So let's move this aside and we can go over how to make the screw mounts that go into the camera. So we'll take our machine screw eye bolt and thread our wing nut onto it upside down and then add your rubber washer and it's literally as easy as that and you just screw it into your camera. So most cameras if not all have a quarter by 20 thread pitch. So that's what you want to look at when you go to the hardware store. And it's just like that. And then just repeat for the other side. There you go. Just like that. So now that we have this all put together for added security and strength, you can go back through and put dabs of super glue into the back sides of each one of these bolts, and then it'll keep your screws from backing out. And you can also, for even more added safety, is where the folds are in these, you can add super glue into those to keep them from pulling apart. All right. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. I know that we get a lot of use out of our harnesses for when we shoot weddings. So please let us know in the comments if you have taken on this challenge. We would love to see if you guys put any type of your own twist on it or if you have any tips and tricks for somebody else that we may not have covered. Always open to learning. Thank you.